We're going to talk about the greeting call today. And the greeting call is a call that I like to use when I'm saying, Hey, ducks, I see you. We're down here. You guys need to come to the spread. It's a great call to use along with the quack. And if you guys haven't seen the quack instructional video, you need to go check that out if you're new to duck calling because you need to know how to do the quack before you can do the greeting call. So the greeting call is just a five note sequence, five to seven notes, and it's just quacks put together. Now, something to note is that it's not the same volume of quack five times or seven times, however you want to do it. You want to make it a descending cadence. So you're going to start loud and then gradually bring it down in volume as you're progressing through the sequence. Now, the call that I'm using is my Rick Haney Calls Deadly Double, and it's an acrylic double reed, and I absolutely love it. I used to blow a single reed, but then I picked up Rick's call and... I loved it. This call, it just, it blows so easy. It sounds so good. And I, I love it. It's a great call. So if you guys are interested in looking at Rick's calls, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But um, if you don't have to buy the expensive calls if you're just getting into duck hunting. You can go pick up a $25 polycarb. Get the hang of it. Get to know duck hunting. See if it's something you like. And if you do enjoy duck hunting and you want to progress through, I recommend an acrylic call. They're a little louder. They sound a little bit different than the polycarbs. And uh, that's all I use is acrylic calls. Once again, how to hold a call. Make this hand, put your call there, wrap your thumb around, put these two fingers down, and just kind of leave these fingers right here to help tune the call. Think of this as the duck's mouth. You open and close it as the duck is quacking. The greeting call, like I said, it's five notes. And you just basically do the same thing you do with the quack, except multiple times in a row. So I do it as ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm saying hoot or oot into the call. Um, practice with it. That's the biggest thing with duck calling. You can watch these videos over and over and over again, but you've really got to practice to figure out how your body works because my the way I say things might not work exactly for you, but it's the same principle. You want that air coming from your gut. You want to tighten that up, bring it up through your chest, and then get it raspy in your throat. You don't want to just push air out. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> not good. That's not what a duck sounds like. You want to make sure you get it raspy in your chest and throat, coming from your diaphragm, and pressurize that air into the call. Now, I like to do... <laughs> After every oot, you want to make sure you cut that air off with your tongue. Otherwise, your notes will kind of blend into each other. You want five to seven separate notes when you're doing this. You don't want it to be... <laughs> you want to... I, I can't... It's hard for me to do calls bad anymore because it's like muscle memory for me. You want to make sure you have a distinctive five notes. One, two, three, four, five. And what, something that helped me early on with calling and getting the cadence down is saying three blind mice quack quack. Pretty simple. That's how you get the kind of the cadence of a duck. Three blind mice, quack, quack. So into the back of the call, you're going to say, ooh, 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 ooh. So I don't know if you guys can hear this. I'll do it right in the mic. Hopefully you can hear that cut off into the microphone because I can hear it myself. So into the barrel of the call here. We're going to make it, and we're, we're going to go kind of slow here. Now you can play around with it. I like to add a little bit of wine. I started doing that, and I don't know if it's a bad habit to have, but it seems like every time I do a greeting call, I always add some wine into it where I kind of pinch that air off just a little bit slower at the back end of the oot. But basic principles here. You can do them long, you can do them short. So play around with it. There's really no exact speed you can go. A lot of times when a duck quacks in the air, I'll call back but faster. So they go, eh, 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 eh. and I'm trying to just basically, if they do that five note sequence, I will most likely end up doing that five note sequence as well. So. Play around with it. When you're working your ducks, you can mix in some quacks. You can do the five note, you can do a seven note. And so you can kind of, so you just basically put it together. But remember, cut off after each note. You're basically going, 
Oot, 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 oot. Okay. So here's what it sounds like when you mix in some quacks. You mix up the cadence of it a little bit. You speed it up. You slow it down. And you can kind of put it together like this when you're calling some ducks. And most of the time, I'm not doing this type of thing unless there's a big group and I'm in a field and I want to sound like a lot of ducks. If I'm on a marsh or just a small pond or something, I don't want to sound like a million ducks. I want to sound like maybe one or two ducks calling at those ducks. But here's what it sounds like when you mix it together. <coughs> When you're practicing, just play around with it. Make sure you got the basic fundamentals down. Get that five note sequence and then step up into mixing things together. But it takes a lot of practice. It took me a very long time to learn how to call like I do today. And I still have room to improve myself. But it's calling ducks. You don't have to be a world champion duck caller to get ducks to come into your spread. Get those fundamentals down and you know you can just single quack and add a five note sequence in and just take your time working those ducks. Don't call too much because you can over call the ducks. So take your time, read the ducks, see what they're liking, see what they're not liking and just play around with it. So like if you want to slow it down and you wait, see what the ducks do. They start flying away. And then they come back. Take your time. Work those ducks. Read the ducks. See what they like. See what they don't like. But as a general rule of thumb, if they're flying away, give them a little bit of a louder call. We'll get into the comeback call on the next video. But that's all for this one. I hope this helped you guys out. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave me a like, guys. It really helps out. But you can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for this video. Tune in next time for the comeback call.